Hey YouTube, hey Divas, hey Gorgeous. Hope all is well with you all. I haven't made a YouTube video because let's talk about it. Y'all wanna talk about it? Let's talk about it. Baby, the transitions of life, it don't stop. Y'all like my hair? I braided my hair. I was looking a little ragdollish. I wouldn't even say ragdollish because natural hair is not ragdollish. But for me, me, I like my hair done, like in a style or whatever. So, yeah. So, I know the I know the natural hair community will fight you. They will fight you, okay? But, honey, hair diva Brittany, leave me alone, okay? And me, actually, my hair not being done showed like, ugh, he just spit all out his car. Like, the coronavirus not going around. Like, why are you spitting? Don't do that. But, um, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I like my hair then. So, I actually feel really better that it's braided and it's grown out. I cut my hair off. You guys can actually go to that video of we cutting my hair off and how I feel now compared to when I cut my hair off is totally different and it just kind of shows like I think I went through that whole uh transition if you ever seen that movie with um damn I can't even think of the name of it right now but it's a damn I can't even think of the actor's actress name but long story short, the, she gets her hair done at the salon. The little girl is the assistant, and she messes up her hair. Dang. It's something natural or not. Something like that. But, um, yeah. And then she goes, Sanai Lathan. Sanai Lathan, that's who's in it. But uh, she, Sanai Lathan's in it, and she goes through this transition of where she cuts off her hair, and she basically, like, pretty much establishes her identity after that and she was kind of going through an identity crisis <laughs> which is what I'm learning in class I'm loving my psychology class like honestly it's kind of making me look at people like mm, yeah you're bad shit crazy but it's okay because there's help for you there is help for you but if you don't seek that help I'm sorry we can't be associated as you know friends but I love you from over there <laughs> but yes so it's just a matter of just really understanding and like I feel like I went through an identity crisis because like a lot of the things I was raised in and I just don't necessarily believe anymore so I had to like figure out who I was all together and that was a lot and I think I pretty much concluded where I'm going with who I am and you know the journey never stops you don't want the journey to stop because when the journey stops life is basically over so you always want to have a journey type of thing but as far as like I honestly don't regret anything and I think that for a long time I was living in like a regretful like damn why should I make all these bad decisions and dang I was such a stupid ass hoe you know like but now I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm glad I had those op those chances, those opportunities to make those mistakes because I see people twice my age still trying to figure it out. And it's like, okay, well, I'm past that. You know what I mean? I'm past that. I know that I need to make, you know, I know I need to make some moves. I don't know where I'm going, but I know that I'm going. I do know that. So that's the beauty of life you get to figure it all out and in the process you get to make hella mistakes so that's pretty much where i'm at with everything and i don't feel the need to keep explaining this shit to y'all like y'all just gonna see like your girl is living your girl is making a little point i've been doing door dance since I can't work um, 
Have I did a little hair? I have snuck and done. I snuck and done a little. I snuck and do a little hair. Okay, I did. I snuck and did a little hair. But um, yeah. This is actually opened my mind into just different stuff. Let me go get this food. I'll be back. Okay, so the food's not ready yet, so I got a little bit of time. But yeah, you guys, like, there's so many other ways to make money. And I think because I've been in the beauty industry since I was like 15, 16, probably younger than that, honestly. Like, I've been doing hair since the damn day I picked up a comb and I figured I can do hair. So it's like... I'm like looking at stuff like, oh, there's more opportunity. Is it not ready? Okay. I'm looking at stuff like, okay, there's more opportunity out here. There's so many different options. And I'm honestly not obsessed with the beauty industry like I was. Oh, y'all seen them armpits. But uh, I'm really just not because there's so many opportunities out there. Like, let me expand myself. And the way people are hella shady in the beauty industry, like, I really don't want to be bothered with it. I don't want to be bothered with the whole rat race of trying to sell this and trying to sell that and I don't, y'all seen the M, M, with, uh, Madam C.J. Walker, like, Madam C.J. Walker couldn't even enjoy her wealth, like, if y'all really paid attention to that movie, like, and that's really what I, that's what I learned from the movie, a lot of people saw a whole bunch of shit, and goals, and all that stuff, but I saw a woman that really never enjoyed her life, she worked like a dog, period and that's what i saw and i was like i want to enjoy my life like is it worth getting all this wealth and uh, obtaining all this stuff and then what you die from lung cancer like no so i'm trying to figure out where the uh where the fun stuff at where the you know where the life where the where the jobs where i can you know have fun and do my thing and not getting caught up in the rat race of life. You know what I mean? It's this whole, oh, I'm, I'm doing this, so I got to do this. And she doing this, so I got to. I don't want to be a part of that at all. Like, just seeing it. And I feel bad for people who's new and trying to get into the beauty industry because they don't really know how fucking crazy people are in it. And now that I'm, like, looking at it from an outside bird view i'm like oh, yo this is not how other people work like they is not tripping off who got the most customers and who got the most clients like people are doing their job if you if you panera bread you make sandwiches and you um nick's sandwich shop down the street you make sandwiches like don't nobody in panera care about nick's sandwich shop but obviously in the hair salons that's not what's going on and honestly i just kind of want to fall back on it and that's basically like am i gonna be doing here of course it's something naturally given i honestly get something out of it making somebody feel really good but am i gonna be so caught up in building this big ass clientele no i'm really not no more i'm really not i'm really moving my mind into a different thing just by not saying i'm not gonna build my clientele and all that but just the whole rat race i don't want to be a part of it i'm trying to have fun like i haven't really been having fun i've been working since i was 16 years old i went from high school to college to another college to another college like i need to have fun i need to fall back i need to be cute i need to suck some dick like i i need to have fun like that's what i want to do so me and bae we about to start having fun period yeah that's just what it's going to be. Because. I hate when people come next to you trying to be you know, loud. No. Why are you so loud? I'm making my YouTube video. But yeah, y'all. This quarantine has been really good for me because I have been able first week i was just like lazy sleeping relaxing just like cleaning up organizing stuff second week i had to get back to work i was door dashing i was door dashing i made like 700 dollars last week door dashing then this week door dashing like i can't sit in the house not doing nothing like to me that's so bummish and i was at a place where i was hella bummish before 
So it's like, I can't just sit down and let the world fall apart and I not do nothing. Like I need to figure out how am I gonna keep my place? How am I gonna still build my credit? How am I gonna pay these bills? Like, and sitting in the house, stressed is not gonna figure that out for me. So yeah, that's where I'm at, Eddie. I'm like, okay, plan B, and it's gonna work because I'm amazing, I'm great, and I'm trying to keep telling myself that I'm worth it. And everything, all of all of the things. So stay tuned, you guys. Oh, and I've been definitely keeping up with my workouts. I'm liking, I really don't eat fast food like everybody else. Like even though I DoorDash, I notice like I, some of these houses I DoorDash to multiple times and I don't DoorDash at all. Like I barely, if I'm going to eat some fast food, I'm going to go get it. But hey, it's two type of people that's in this world. It's people that DoorDash and it's people that's DoorDashing. So understand that. And it's, the, it's those people on the side that's cooking. <laughs> And it's those people up there that's going to pick. It's like, it's where, it's more than two types of people to wear. But yeah, y'all know what I mean. My skin is getting better. My mom was like, oh, your skin like a mess. Girl, my skin is getting better, okay? Okay, my skin was really jacked up. My skin, my hair, everything was jacked up, okay? I was looking a hot ass mess, okay? Ain't nobody got to tell me. I know I was. I was trying to get it together. Girl. When your best friend die, your motherfucking sister die, your motherfucking, then you tell me how you look, okay? Don't worry about how I was looking. Worry about was you there to help me get my shit together. Was you there? Okay, then that's all that matters. Period. But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all have a great day. It's kind of warm out here in Cali. It's looking like it's going to be a real hot girl summer, but ain't nobody about to be a hot girl. So, yeah. That's what we're going through. All right, just got my food. All right, thank you. This one is you, right? Yeah. Right. Thank you. You too. All right, I got two, two deliveries to drop off. Bye, y'all.